How's it going? Thanks for joining me. Somebody asked me to dissect this no force on flat earth, give you a deeper look at what's going on. So remember in the movie Avatar, you had the tree of souls at the center of their forest, that special place, the tree of souls. And what I'm telling you is that like the tree of souls would have been like the astral web that spread out across the flat earth plane. And these giant trees were silica trees or like you have silicone chips in a computer. And the astral web, sort of like when you see in Ghostbusters, they show you all these ghosts are green. And what I'm telling you is that before these trees were knocked down, there was a living web, an astral web that spread out across the earth. Silicon trees like silicon chips. It was a super highway of information that has been chopped down. And now what's left is these mountains, which are the roots and the stumps of these giant trees that used to spread out across the earth. At the center of the dish is the Holy of Holies where the tree of life comes shooting out. So let's take a look at something. You go into a church, you kneel down to the feminine, okay? You kneel down to the feminine and you place holy water on your head, okay? And you go into a church and you do the upside down cross. You go from your head to your chest, left to right, doing this upside down cross which makes perfect sense that this is Jesus right here because it says as above, so below, as within, so without. You see one thumb in, one thumb out. And you see the two snakes right there? One's black, one's white. And what I'm telling you, this is as above, so below, two fingers up, two fingers down, as within, so without. This is the same story over and over and over again. At the center of the dish is your doorway to heaven. Okay? So your stairway to heaven is what like your Jacob's ladder that's the holy of holies at the center of the dish where every compass points to so I've been pointing out every compass like this one you see is pointing to where Jesus places his light into the hole at the center of the dish out from that hole comes the tree of life shooting out hits the parabolic mirror and showers down on us before all these trees were knocked down that astral light would have spread out across the earth through these veins or these roots on these silica trees, sort of like silicon chips. And um, the land beneath us is the land of perpetual twilight. So, like for example, you see these fish over here, and it looks like the division symbol. And what I'm seeing is like, for example, you're birthed out of your mother's water. Your father places his junk into your mother's trunk. And then nine months later, you're birthed out of your mother's water onto the dock. And the doc doctors the papers and sends them off to the vital statistics office. And they send back to the hospital a certificate. Because when a ship bursts into a port and bursts out that all those goods onto a new country soil, there's a birth certificate that's given to the captain. And that accounts for all that inventory. So that birth certificate that you have shows you that your inventory it looks just like a warehouse receipt it has all the numbers on the bonding paper exactly like a uh, a birth certificate is exactly like a stock certificate with the special paper and and the numbers and all that stuff that's because you're stock and you're lost at sea you know there's plenty of fish in the sea right so what I'm getting at here is that the land of perpetual twilight is beneath us so we have the Sun above her head which is 32 nautical miles in diameter. It spirals in and spirals out, bringing the seasons. Okay, the land beneath us has the black sun, which is stationary, and it's 800 nautical miles in diameter, and it's fixed because the astral jet has to come shooting out through that hole, hit the parabolic mirror, and shower down on us. Before, there used to be trees that that light would go shooting through, and that was like the living, breathing astral web that spread out across the earth. And now that's all been chopped down and we're living in a mining colony. Everybody is working for worthless paper backed by their own stupidity. And now their God is time. Their time is money. You will get to school on time, pay your bills on time. Everything will be, be done in time. You see, you go to a, a strip club and you make it rain. Okay? You make it rain and... Ah, uh, this is crazy, people. So what I'm getting at 
is that at the center of the dish is where you're going to find the uh, the land of milk and honey. It's the land of perpetual twilight. You're going to go into the hole at the center of the dish where every compass points to. Okay? And when you pop out the other side, you're going to see all those giant trees and all that shit. It still exists. It's just like the electric universe model. They said that Saturn was the primary sun. It was up in the sky, stationary. It's still exactly like that. But you need to get to the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. And when you go through that hole and you pop out the other side, okay, you're on the division symbol right now, the chessboard, okay? On the other side is the land of perpetual twilight. That's where we're going to find, okay, heaven and the Garden of Eden. Okay, it's right over there at the center of the dish, the Holy of Holies, every compass points to it. So again, you walk into a church, you kneel down to the feminine, you make an upside down cross, and when you go inside a church, you'll see that there's the stained glass windows showing you that you're focusing all your intent onto the black sun, which is Satan. So the sun above your head is making your flesh, your, your flesh, your bones, and your blood. And now that you're here, you want to bring something into reality? That's coming through the black sun. And it's just that simple. They're showing you right over here. Like when you go to marry a woman, you give her a ring, okay? That's not like a Vesca Pisces. That's like, and you put it on your limp finger, your wedding ring, or wedding finger is your limp finger, not like your fuck you finger, okay? It's your limp finger showing you that you need to go where Jesus places his light into the hole. That's where the fountain of youth is. You see the pin the tail on the dawn key right there? X marks the spot. There's no way to mess this up. You know, you spin somebody around like you're in the world, like a whirlwind spinning around. That's why you spin someone around. And you blindfold them. Okay, that's sort of like on your birthday. You close your eyes and make a wish, blow out the candle, and focus all your intent onto the black sun. You go into a church, and you see stained glass windows. That's because they're blocking out the sun above your head and focusing your intent onto the black sun. Okay, the black sun, you're a black hole. Your eyes are sucking in light like a black hole. Your ears are sucking in sound like a black hole. Your taste buds and your everything in your body, you're a black hole is what you can't see. And you're on the checkerboard right now, the chessboard. There's the hole at the center of the dish called the Holy of Holies. X marks the spot. There's no way to mess it up. And it's the two bowls, as in the Bible, as in two bowls, okay? Which is one side of a light hole is a black hole. So it's one sun, okay, it's one coin with two sides. If you open up a Black's Law Dictionary, 1936 edition, and you look up the definition of a human being, you will see that it's a monster with no inheritable blood, cannot be heir to any land unless through marriage. And to get married, you need a marriage license, a certificate, showing you that you're owned, just like a birth certificate. And your children are stock owned by the government. And you are marked down as lost at sea. Your country set up a corporation in your name, and if you look up the definition of a corporation, it's dead corpse. So you would be the walking dead, literally. So what I'm seeing here is the center of the dish where every compass points to is the Holy of Holies. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole. Now, let's go back over here to the checkerboard. This would be Adam, the chessboard, and a rib was broken off of Adam and placed up in the sky to make Eve. And that would be the moon, which is sending down a square wave at you, keeping your brain half shut off, where half of your brain is shut off and you can't see what's hiding in plain sight. When I see this, I see one side of a light hole is a black hole. The two bulls like the Bible. Okay? The pair of ox. What I see over here is where every monster needs to get to before they're dead. At the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. It's very simple. Okay? So that